Oh, it's getting cool when they give me drops, Benson. Of the water. Hey everyone, today we're gonna go and harvest celery. It started to turn a little bit yellow, so I'm hoping that's okay, but I'm gonna can it, so it's fine. Um, we're gonna harvest celery, and then um, I'll show you guys how I cut it off, and I'm gonna keep all the leaves and everything on it because the, stay down, the recipe that I'm doing wants the leaves in the like soup base, so. We're gonna go and do that real quick. It's kind of cold, but the sun's out, so. I just uh, spilled my bubbles and it went in my eyeball. That was real fun. Okay. So you don't want it to start turning yellow like this. So we're gonna cut that stuff off, but for the most part, they look really good. Nice stalks in there. Pretty cool. Kinda proud that uh, we uh, actually have celery. <laughs> I wonder if it'd be better if I just pulled the whole thing out. Like the roots and all? Yeah. Do it once. Oh man. That is an extensive root system. Goodness gracious. Wow. I don't know about that. So celery is a biannual, so you can cut it off and it'll come back next year. Yeah, but I I think I would cut it off because you're gonna that would uh, decompose, wouldn't it? Yeah, the roots. Will, I'll do these three. Just kind of wanted to see what it looks like. So if you could just cut them off, you want to cut it like right at soil level or underneath the soil. So you kind of want to dig away a little bit and then they'll stay together. So if you're like wanting to sell them, you put the little rubber band on them and all that stuff. I think you're going to have to go faster. Yeah, me too. Let's do a sample there. Hot but careful, some garlic cloves that handed it off to the thin at Ross. <laughs> Mind change. We're pulling it We're along. pulling them out. <laughs> I think y'all use all this. Maybe. 
Good harvest. Yeah. For thinking they were like doing nothing for like the longest time. Yeah, I think the wheelbarrow would have worked better. So I did start these from seed and I you can plant them pretty close together when you start them from seed. But I forgot to fertilize them when they were still in their like seedling things. And so just remember to fertilize your seedlings really well. And then when they came out, they need to have six hours of sunlight and shade through the hottest part of the day during the summer. If you want to harvest them in the fall like this. Um, but it kind of worked out because this tree Does provided... This wind. <laughs> provided some shade for this area, which the stuff that needed like full days worth of sunlight didn't do very well, but celery did really well. So. And all I put in here is compost into the topsoil that we had brought in. And then um, I did put a biotone in one time. I'll save the seed. Good idea. Okay. Now, I get all in there. But I need to wash the... Probably totally not the way to do this, so. <laughs> never grown celery, never processed celery, never really did anything with celery. But it is really good for you. And uh, so that's why I wanted to put it in soups and stuff. Lots of celery. That's cool. I kind of want to weigh it, see how much it weighs. Oh, what about that? <laughs> we have more. But wait, there's more! Well, we got it washed. <laughs> how much do you think we have? Uh, um, 10 pounds. That's it? 8 pounds. Huh. Lots of celery. I'm going to be processing this into cream of celery soup. And then um, I'm going to do some quick pickled celery and see how it tastes. I'll just do a little bit and see if it's good. And then maybe keep some fresh in the fridge until we use it all. And that's it. Celery harvest. Just a note, harvest your celery before the frost hits it. Then it won't be yellow and uh, mushy. Still tastes good, but we'll see you guys in the next video, which is where I'll be using this stuff. Bye. <laughs>